Hello, my name is Bill. I am from the True Voice Text Assist Engine. I'm a hybrid of True Voice and Deck Talk. I was created by MindMaker, a developer who is well known for creating a program called Grody Turret. I, myself, specifically, am the voice of Dr. Spakeso from the Grody Turret program. If you didn't know, a Windows version was released with Grody Turret, which was inspired by the original DOS version from Creative Labs. Grody and I argue with each other sometimes, but it's all in good fun. Lastly, I am the only voice you can actually choose in a program like Palavalka. For the other voices, you need to physically have Grody Turret open on your computer and go to its voice properties in order to get the other seven voices, which is what you are probably seeing part of right now. Some of these voices have been inspired from DeckTalk's text-to-speech engine. Grody Turret only works on versions Windows 95, Windows NT 4.0, Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows V and Windows XP. In order for the standalone text-to-speech engine to work properly, Grody Turret must be installed. Due to this very reason, my specific text-to-speech voice does not run well on Windows Vista and later, despite being based on the Microsoft SOP 4 text-to-speech engine. Windows 10 users, if you try to install this text-to-speech voice on your host and try to use it, I will read one sentence then crash, usually with an error message. I usually can't continue talking afterwards. Also, by default, THS speech preview loops. To make me stop looping, you have to click the stop button, which replaces the speak button when I am speaking. This means I will never stop talking until you press stop. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I have some psychology patients to help. And I'm very expensive. I cost $200. Lol. But seriously, I really do need to go. I'll get the next text assist voice for you. Creator, stop messing around and press the pause button, for goodness sakes. You are going to make the virtual machine so slow Windows XP will be stuck. And because of that you will be grounded, 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 grounded for life. Okay, okay, I've been talking too much. I don't care if I break the fourth wall. Microsoft Mike can deal with it. Next voice. Right now. Hello, my name is Frank. My voice is based on top of the original Deck Talk text-to-speech engine. Again, MindMaker made our voices a hybrid of true voice and Deck Talk. Anyway, I'm not really used in this program. I'm basically just a text assist version of Frank. Hello, my name is Harry. I am another text assist voice mind maker, based off of the original Deck Talk. Personally, I feel that Mind Maker stole from Deck Talk and True Voice and just hybrided our voices. I'm surprised they did not get sued by Phoenix, Incorporated, or Stansoft. Oh, what's that? Stansoft is now nuance. Darn it, Nuance, stop buying out all of our voices. Oh well. Well, I've got nothing else to say here. Hello, my name is Johnny. I am not used in Grody Turret, unless the user specifically chooses to pick me as an option. I don't have much to say about myself. I'm just amused. Other than the fact that I have a child voice or what I believe to be a child voice, there is nothing interesting about me. Hello, my name is Pitt. I am yet another text-to-assist voice, based off of the original DeckTalk text-to-speech engine. Actually, I am the default voice of Grody Turret. A lot of people criticized me for my voice. But on the day, most people didn't know that my voice could be changed, and most people probably don't know how to change it still. You know what? I'm going to tell you how. First, you need to open my program. Wait for me to appear on screen. Next, right click my trait icon and choose properties. Next, select the character tab, and to the far right of the properties window, select the voice button. You can type anything you want. But basically, since you guys call me annoying, I guess I'll go. Just remember that Bonzi Buddy is adware on a spyware virus that should never be installed on a real machine. Ever. Even if the servers that track the information are down. Someone may have backup servers ready. 
although they got fined by the Federal Trade Commission in 2004 for violating the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and paid a huge fine. Their software remained free to download to everyone until mid-2016, when the program was removed entirely and the spyware servers went offline. Hello, my name is Rita. I am a text assist voice based on DeckTalk's text-to-speech engine for the fourth time. I don't know why MindMaker thought it was a good idea to be an original, but yes, they did this. By the way, MindMaker no longer exists. The director of this video told me that he got the ease of this file from a forum website, but he can't remember which one it was. Other than that, that's all I have to say. Hello, my name is Timmy. I'm one of the few voices MindMaker didn't rip off from DeckTalk. However, I am another child voice. Also, I sound pretty identical to the kid voice in the selection of available voices. Hello, my name is Wendy. Mindmaker once again ripped off from Deck Talk. As you can see, I even have the partial whisper effect some of the Deck Talk versions of Wendy had. How did Phoenix not sue these guys? Seriously? I can't believe Mindmaker got away with this.